to Appalachia's Homestead. This video is coming up a little bit later than I wanted to today. The rain is kind of, you know, man plans, God laughs. It was only supposed to rain a little bit this morning and it's just not letting up. So I was going to get out and walk and show some stuff, but it's going to be really tough to do that in this weather. If I didn't have to go somewhere and I didn't have to make a biscuit video for y'all today, ooh, what's she talking? <laughs> then I'd get out there in the mud. I've already been in the mud today. So I'm a little showered up. I, you know, I painted my barn a little bit and all of that. But listen, um, I have been wanting to make this video for a while. This is nothing new. Um, in fact, the incident that I'm going to very generically um, reference to actually happened a year ago. Okay. So uh, it's been a while that this has happened, so it was probably wise for me to wait, and it's turned out that, yeah, it is, because it, everything is okay now, um, but I want to make this video for everybody to listen to, but I'm giving it from a female perspective, and I want my female audience to really pay attention to this. Um, I don't know what the situation is with your home, your homestead, your farm, but I don't know. I, I think a lot of us get very, pa I don't want to say passive. I'm, I'm struggling here. When, when a moment of crisis happens, uh, when a perpetrator shows up on the scene, um, when things happen to you, whether it's on your property or at the local grocery store, you really have to be already in respond mode before the situation happens, okay? And you have to understand that you have to be prepared for that at all times. There are going to be poachers, encroachers, and trespassers everywhere you go. In, in, and we can talk about this in every sense of the word, but I'm going to talk about it in terms of your property. Um, especially for you ladies out there um, that maybe have not taken any type of self-defense training. Maybe you haven't taken measures to make sure your home and your property is as safe as physically possible. This is who I'm kind of trying to shake up and wake up and bake up a little bit this morning. So we had an incident on the farm about a year ago, and uh, it is all documented, okay? So we're just going to leave it at that. Um, let me put it to you this way. There's a reason I've done a lot of things to my farm, and there is a reason I have specific ways that I've done my fencing. And there's a lot of things on my farm and ways to help keep us safe. So that is about as detailed as I'm going to get into that. I'm encouraging you to do whatever it takes uh, for you to also take those measures, especially if gals, if you are home for whatever reason by yourself or maybe you're home with young children. Uh, maybe you go out every now and then and you have, you know, teenage kids that hang out at home. I don't know. I'm thinking of all the scenarios that women, uh, and I'm not trying to exclude the men here, okay? But women have to be kind of jolted a little bit differently than, than men, okay? It's just the way we're built, okay? So we had a situation with trespassing and... Um, other things on my property. I'm being very generic for a reason. I didn't put this video up because it got to be a very heated situation and I was left to handle it. So this is um, why I think it's important for us to talk about it. Um, I don't know what you need to do, ladies, to get yourself mentally prepared even more for the times that we have been in and we've just gotten lucky. Um, I've sort of been referencing this off and on in some videos lately um, because I want to motivate you to take self-defense classes if you haven't. I want you to get trained. Do you understand where I'm going with this? Okay, I have to be very careful with my language uh, and you, you have to be. You have to be. You have to be. You never know when this platform is going to say, nope, you can't say that, but this person over here can. Okay, that's just the way it works here. Okay, so if you have not uh, taken any form of training classes to assist you in your self-defense, you need to get on that today. I actually am not even interested if you already have, you probably should reconsider doing some classes again. I am. Uh, I'm actively, in fact, not only me, but I, for my birthday, my birthday present to myself was signing up for more self-defense classes and I am um, enrolling family members for 
training, further training. Um, this was my birthday present for me. This James said, what do you want? I said, I want this. I mean, we did other little things and it was cute and we had fun, but this is my birthday present. This is how serious this is and what a time that you really should consider because as we consider to see society decline, because it is, we're, we're, we can talk about biscuits and bunnies and chicky doos and all of these things. None of that means anything if somebody comes in and puts you in the floor, okay? Okay? Doesn't matter how many biscuits you can whip up, sister, in that kitchen if somebody comes through the back door and puts you down on the floor, okay? Uh, the real reason that I'm really especially motivated to talk about this today is because late last night I learned of an 83-year-old man in his home being completely, okay, you use your imagination however you need to, uh, a, an 83-year-old grown man, elderly man, being completely violated and murdered in the kitchen of his home, okay? So what I'm trying to tell you is, is he wasn't, uh, a, if a grown man, even though he's elderly, can easily fall victim to all kinds of situations, that means you can too. So there are going to be people that think that they can just come onto your property, whether you have a quarter of an acre, whether you have 20 acres. There are just people that have this mindset that land is land and they can do whatever they want on it. There are situations where you have individuals who think that, oh, there's some forest over there. I can go hunt, even though it's not in season, and I can just do whatever I want. There's those situations. You have people that will try to penetrate and get into your home. Um, you may have a situation where people know too much about you and, um, you know, try to take advantage of you in, in, in general. So my point is you have to assume, and this is very, this is scary talk. Okay. Uh, this is scary talk. You know, us women aren't supposed to talk scary and doomsday, but guess what? You're in doomsday because you're seeing a society that is absolutely pushing individual citizens to take care of business on their own. You are on your own. OK, please do not be listening to anybody out there that is telling you that you don't need to be doing anything in terms of self-defense alone or protecting your privacy in terms of your property. Whatever the measures you have not taken, have you put up signs about private property? Now, I know somebody's going to say that people don't that don't mean nothing to nobody. I understand that. But when you put a sign up and you are staking your claim on your private property, that you're making a legal move also because it, 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 depending on how the situation is or how the situation goes, nobody can claim ignorance that they didn't know that that was private property, okay? So you need to be looking into all of those things. I don't know if you need alarms. I don't know if you need more cameras. I don't know if you need more fencing, okay? We've spent quite a bit of our own individual um earnings in, in trying to continue to safeguard our farm and our home. Uh, yeah, no, I would have loved to have done other things with that money last year, but our safety was more important because guess who had to take care of it? Okay. It was little old me. Okay. And like I said, I'm not going to go into the details of my situation. It was handled and um, enough time I think has gone by um, that, uh, you know, we're not going to be, um, up in anybody's feathers. Um, and my neighbors, you know, this is a, this is sort of a, a neighborly thing as well. I mean, people we know, okay, this isn't, so this isn't just me jibber jabbing. Um, but, uh, because of the nature of the situation, I am going to be limited on information other than you need to go ahead and you need to assume that if this has not happened to you, your home, your private farm, your, 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 in, in your woods or whatever, it's going to because people have no boundaries anymore. Okay? They don't. They don't care. There's no consequence. I mean, when the, 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 when the so-called leadership of the country that you le live in absolutely is doing nothing to try to protect you as a private citizen, as a U.S. citizen, there's a breakdown all the way underneath it, which falls back to the common theme, ladies, you are on your own. If you have anybody in your life, including, I'm, gonna, I'm pushing back on this, if you have a husband or a, a, um, a boyfriend or whoever that blows you off in terms of how you need to be training 
learning self-defense and feeling better about doing the best that you can on your property or going anywhere, you need to reconsider what type of relationship that you're in, or you need to consider going into therapy and making sure that that individual understands that this is incredibly important. No man on the planet is going to push back on a woman trying to, to learn to take care of herself and speak her mind. Bottom line. So whatever you feel you need to do, be doing it. Like I said, you really need to be looking into self-defense classes and you really need to be um, going out and taking the bull by the horn and understanding this is my property. These are the measures that I've taken. This is what I've done to my home. These are the things that I'm willing to do. And this is a constant moment of head on a swivel. I know people don't like to hear that because it makes them nervous. It makes them upset. It gives them anxiety. Folks, I'm not doing this to you, okay? There is no YouTuber doing this to you. I don't care how clickbaity a title gets. I don't care what they say. No one is making you feel these, feel these emotions and this fear other than yourself and the reality of this is the world you're living in now. This is where we are. This is where we've been, but it's on steroids and it continues to get worse. Here's another thought to consider. If we go to war, because it's very obvious that, um, <laughs> it's very, very obvious that you are being pushed and pushed on a daily basis uh, to get involved in things that we have no business being involved in. This country has no business being involved in. That puts an incredible amount of stress and pressure on us as a society. If the supply chain were to continue to uh, be a joke as it really, really fundamentally is in a lot of ways still, but can you imagine what that would look like if we decided to have a conflict, it's going to put pressure on everything, your food, uh, the, the things that you need, the medicine. You know what that's going to do? That's going to cause people to be more desperate. And guess what they're going to do? They're going to show up in your woods. They might squat in your woods. They might come and think that you've got a, a cute chicken coop today. They might come and try to investigate your, your garden. That's actually being kind of friendly considering what we just talked about happened to this 83-year-old gentleman in his kitchen. The worst of the worst. Don't think ever that it can't happen to you. The reality is, is you need to go ahead and assume that you could be a victim and what in the heck are you going to do about it today? Don't don't sit there and, and, and cry, cry in your seat. No. Suck it up. We got to suck it up. We are on our own. So I don't know what this means for people. I know I sound harsh, but I just get so upset with seeing things happen to people. And it, I know that's reality too. But like I said, I want, I want people to understand that we are on our own. Mom, you're on your own. Your kids, if, if they're going to eat, you're going to have to make that happen. Nobody's coming to save you. If somebody shows up on your property, you better know how to handle it. Because while there may be still some wonderful, wonderful ways for people in your community to help you, be it a neighbor, be it a, the local um, sheriff's department, all of these things, how long is it going to take for them to get there? depending upon especially where you live. And if you're living in some wackadoo place where they've gutted everything to where, again, you are on your own. It just plays over and over and over. So like I said, I want you to go ahead and assume, depending upon where you live, whether it's an apartment, a condo, big city, out in the sticks like me, go ahead and assume that there are poachers, encroachers, trespassers, and worse. They're all around you, and they don't care what you think you own and what is yours. When they get in the mindset, especially if they're desperate, especially if they're on drugs, it's a hard thing to handle. I took a class one time um, with what, where we, uh, we had to get tased and we had to get shot with rubber bullets. Yes. 
And uh, I'm going to tell you right now, the te you had to play one side. You, In one sense, you were uh, defending yourself, and the perpetrator was to run a certain distance towards you. And they had agreed that they, it was gentle, it was men, they agreed that they would um, run as hard as they could. They're trying to get to you, trying to take you down. All the while, you're shooting rubber bullets. Didn't stop any of them. Didn't, st now I, I get it. But my point is, is when, pe when men especially are charged up to do something, it is breathtaking to see how quickly they can move even if they're not in their best shape. But if they're driven by testosterone and if they are driven by any type of chemical, folks, it's really hard to get them to stop. Some of these men, bless their hearts, were even shot in the groin with these rubber bullets. They kept running. They kept going. So this is what I'm saying. Understand what you're truly up against and that you have to be, go ahead and think, if this happened, what? how will I respond? If this shows up, how will I respond? And that you are on guard all of the time in all measures that you need to. Ladies, I'm really thinking about you today, okay? And I want you to take this video serious. I cannot speak to individual situations only because I don't know yours. Only you do. But whatever you need to do, if it's at a minimum, getting a better alarm system, getting trained. You have classes all in your area to help you. Take advantage of it. Don't go get your hair and your nails did. Take that money and save your life. Save your property. It's far more important than any gray sticking out on your head or any jail nail that's grown out. I don't mean that in a bad light. I'm just saying a lot of people have the time and the money they just don't have the drive. And I hope I've put it into you today. Thank you for being here. We appreciate you. Like, subscribe, and share. Guys, keep doing the best that you can out there. We are in a clown world right now. And I know that a lot of people come to my channel. They like to see me cook biscuits and talk about my goats and all the cute little bunnies and kitty cats. And that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Okay? It's part of my life. This is what I do every day. But the reality of where we all are needs to be spoken. It needs to be taken very, very serious. Because like I said, let's say it one more time. We are on our own. God bless. And we'll see you on the next video.